Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about something that actually a lot of people have asked me about. Uh, a lot of people have seen my LaTeX videos, and you know, they're good for beginners, I guess, but there are some people who are not even beginners. Uh, they see the videos, they like what they see, but they don't actually know how you go about installing and using LaTeX at a basic level. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install LaTeX, your different options for compiling, the different things you can do, and how to get the specific setup that you see on my computer in all these videos. Um, so anyway, uh, I actually wrote wrote this up sort of, you know, in text form on my website. I'm going to give you a link to this, but I'm just going to explain sort of how you do all the different stuff. Um, now, I'm just going to say in general, there are two different ways to compile LaTeX documents. You can write them online with an online service, or you can write them offline. Um, now, I do recommend you eventually moving to doing everything offline, um, but that, of course, this is highly more customizable. You can do a lot more stuff with this, but it is a little bit more work to get the kind of setup you want. So you might want to start with an online an online service, and there are many of these. There's stuff like Overleaf, or the one I'm familiar with is Share LaTeX. I actually have it pulled it up here. Um, so this is Share LaTeX. It's actually pretty simple. You can just go here, make an account, and start writing. Um, you know, the setup is pretty simple. You have, you know, you write the code here. You can upload files to use in it, like images, whatever. Um, and then you have a preview window over here. And you can pretty much just uh, update it and make whatever changes you want. Uh, let's make some changes. And you press the recompile button. And if it detects some kind of error, it's going to notify you about that. Uh, and it's going to print out the log. So that's pretty convenient. Um, so that's you know an option. Uh, so shared LaTeX, of course, I, I think I just said, it's where I started. It's a great, you know, you don't have to worry about setting anything up. Everything's just there for you. Um, but of course, if you want to move on to an offline, using an offline editor, I do recommend you using that eventually. Uh, but of course, um, there are many different ways for you to do it. Uh, you can use Vim, you can use Emacs, you can use a lot of other stuff. Um, now, the first thing you want to do is actually install the packages. Um, that is, you so you can actually run you know, LaTeX and compile documents. Some Linux distros actually start out with it, um, but I do recommend you not just installing the compiler, um, but really all the different packages uh, that the, you know, LaTeX uses, because there's the core compiler and there's actually all this other stuff that, you know, the different packages you can evoke. And I really just recommend you installing all of those, because otherwise you're gonna start making a document and then you're gonna have to stop every five seconds and be like, oh, I have to download this other package and it's just annoying. Um, now, some of, some of it's automated, but it's still sort of a pain. I just recommend you doing it all. Um, so to install it on different platforms, I'll just go ahead and say, we'll do the Windows and Mac first because they don't get enough you know, time on my uh, channel. Uh, so on for Windows, just go to mictech.org, go to the download section, and you want to get this net installer uh, for what, 64-bit or 32-bit. And this is going to let you download all of the different packages while you install. That's probably the, the best way to do it. Uh, Mac OS is pretty similar. There's Mac Tech. Uh, just go to the download page. Um, the MacTech one is actually a little bigger. It's almost three gigabytes, um, so that's pretty big. Uh, but that has all the packages you ever need. Um, yeah, they're all there. Uh, and of course, for Linux, you don't even have to go into your browser. You can just type it in your command line. Uh, your command line, depending on whatever distro you have. So you know, sudo apt-get uh, install tech live full for Debian, Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, whatever Debian-based distro you have. Uh, for Arch, of course, it's, uh, oops, wrong button on the wrong, uh, uh, so for Arch, it's Pac-Man S, Tech Live Most, and Tech Live Lang. You don't necessarily have to have Tech Live Lang unless you're using different languages or whatever, but, um, um, so anyway, it's, it's pretty simple, and once you do this, you'll have not just LaTeX, but all the different packages uh, installed. Uh, now, you can simply run it just by saying, you know, PDF LaTeX and then whatever file name. Uh, and then that will compile that tech document or whatever. Uh, but of course, there are many ways of doing this automatically, so you don't even have to think about it. Um, now I have some directions for different things here. The easiest I'll go ahead and say is probably TechMaker, I think. Uh, this is in most Linux repositories. It's also, you know, it's you can get it free here. Um, it's pretty similar to share LaTeX, right? So you have the files over here, you write the code, and here's your preview window. So it's pretty convenient. It's pretty much as easy to use as share LaTeX. I've never really used this, um, but uh, it is an option. Uh, there's also Lix. 
Lix is a little different. Lix is a little bit more, it's more like what you see is what you get. Now, I don't necessarily like uh, Lix, but some people swear by it, some people love it. Uh, you might want to try it out, although it doesn't, uh, you might want to try it out after you have some experience with LaTeX, so you get more familiar about what is LaTeX and what is, you know, uh, the actual output of LaTeX. Uh, but Lix is an option. Um, if you have Emacs, there's Octech. Uh, if you have Emacs, I assume you're smart enough to be able to, to look how to install that. Um, and if you use Vim, there are actually a gajillion different things you can do. Uh, I listed out in detail the specific packages I use. Uh, so the package I use, like actually let me bring mine up, right? So um, this is, of course, Vim, uh, and I have a package that will automatically generate a preview pane. You can scroll on it. You can, it will automatically update when I change stuff here. Um, so this is the Vim Live LaTeX preview. Vim Live LaTeX preview. Not the same thing as the Vim LaTeX Live preview. Does a similar thing, but I like this one a little more. This one's the, I guess, less used one, but I, I like it a lot more. Um, so in order to install this, just because you know people have asked, um, you want to, first off, you want to have a Vim bundle manager or package manager. Uh, I have Pathogen. Uh, the directions are here, but uh, if you want to install Pathogen, you can just run these commands. Uh, it might be in your you know repository or whatever, depending on your distro. Then you want to make sure you have these lines in your vimrc. So open up your vimrc, you know, by vim um, vimrc. And once you do that, you should see, you know, I don't know what you'll have, but just make sure you have these three lines: uh, the pathogen of infect, syntax on, and file type plugin. Um, and after that, all you have to do is run these uh, run these two commands, and it will download the vim live latex preview. Uh, and we'll throw it in the place that pathogen reads um, for different bundles or add-ons. And after that, you should be able to just jump into it and, uh, you know, there's a, you know, guide to it, but it's pretty simple um, uh, to run. Uh, so anyway, that's basically it. Uh, this is what all I use. So I'll, again, the directions are here. I'll put a link to this in the video description. Um, now, if you have any other questions about different ways to compile LaTeX, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments. Um, I'm not familiar with so many different ways, but I'm sure a lot of my viewers are, so they can impart their knowledge. There are a gajillion different ways to do this, um, so if you have any kind of questions or vision you have, uh, feel free to um, you know indulge your desires. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's about it, so I'll see you guys next time.